Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, Brighton. Here we are. Um, yes, oh, hey, first week of September. Maybe even second week, I can't remember. Uh, but, um, wetsuit back on. A bit fresh in the sea this morning and quite, uh, quite a big wave. Getting in and out is good fun. It's, it's lovely though. It's, I'm really pleased it came down. I always think September is the beginning of the year. I know it's a very important hinge point in the year. Um, but for me, it feels like the year starts in September. Well, the academic year starts in September. And uh, I know we all can remember our first day at school. I remember my first day at school. <laughs> this was back in the, let me think, 50s. Yes, I was born in 51. So my first day at school would have been September 1956. When um, I think rationing had only just finished in 54 or 55. I kind of, I kind of have a memory of my mum queuing up outside a butcher getting um, a few sausages and some bacon. I, I think that was really happening, or I don't know if I saw, I saw on TV, but I, I kind of do remember that. But anyway, my first day at school was um, really exciting. I loved it. Uh, we lived in um, Fulham. The school was in Fulham Palace Road, and um, I went to school with my auntie Sandra, I think, and my mum. Ian stayed at home, um, obviously. He was in his cot, banging his head on the side of the cot. In fact, the first words Ian said were, Let me out! But anyway, that's another story. But yes, I love my first day at school. Um, and of course, you get to relive it with your own children when they first go to school. Um, I can remember clearly when my kids were going to school. And now, of course, my grandson will be going to school in another five years, I suppose. That'll be 2025, September 2025, he'll be going to school. We should start the new year in September. Have New Year's Day on the 1st of September. Uh, new Year's Eve, 31st of August. It also means that we have a break after Christmas because Always, every every year, Christmas, it's great to see your family, eat lots of food, drink lots of wine, beer, and then it's, and then it's another weekend, we'll do it again. It's like, it's too soon. We need some space between Christmas and New Year. So let's put New Year in of September, and then we can actually push Christmas back to the 31st of December, which will give us much more time for Christmas shopping nothing worse when, when you go to Mark Spencer's on Christmas Eve and they say I'm sorry the shop will soon be closing and it's only like three o'clock you think well I haven't done my shopping yet and you go around you pick up a jumper and a pair of slippers how much is this? 100 pounds you get some saucepans how much is this? 200 pounds whereas if you go shopping on the 26th of December go back to Mark's Spencer's and say, how much is that jumper now? And those slippers? They say, oh, give us a tenner. So we, we saved a lot of money. We did our shopping on the 27th, 28th, 29th of December. You know, it just makes sense. There'll be more time for shopping. While we're about it, we, we should really um, nail down Easter as well. Easter should be first April. It's April, it's May, it's March. He never make his mind up. So let's sort that out at the same time. And while we're about it, we might as well make every month 30 days. Rather than 30, 31, February, who knows. I think it's time we sort some things out. <laughs> this is my Beach News Live special for you today. Beginning of September, it's the beginning of a new year. So I'm going to leave you with a jolly song for you all to get you in the mood for the start of this lovely new year. So lots of love to you all and um, that's all for me, David Ingram you Beach News Live. Should old acquaintance be forgot 
and never brought to mind. Should all the acquaintance be forgot, and days of old lang syne, for old lang syne, dear, for old lang syne, we'll take a cup more kindness yet. For days of old lang syne.